Okay, well now is the uh, portion of the interview where we will talk about The Office. The Office, I remember Ever that. Ever heard of that? So I was a huge fan of The Office. I, there was a lot of, you know, joke for joke ripping from the uh, BBC office. Tell me what you think about Gareth Keenan. Gareth Keenan is one of the greatest characters ever created. There's many things that I stole from him, like the hideous haircut was one of them. And I love the way that he took everything so seriously. Give it back. I'm just using it for a second. It's got my name on it, Gareth. Yeah, it says Gareth, actually, but... Ask if you want to borrow it. Yeah, you always say no, mate. What's the point? Perhaps that's why you should ask. The most absurd ideas and beliefs he took with deadly earnestness. That was a big part of who Dwight Schrute was. Last week I gave a fire safety talk <clears throat> and nobody paid any attention. It's my own fault for using PowerPoint. PowerPoint is boring. When did you guys get your sea legs and was there a scene, a moment, a script, jokes that suddenly said, no, 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 this is ours. Mm -hmm. that then turned it into the cultural pho phenomenon that was over here. I would say we really found our voice in the second season. We started kind of having a, a yeah. string of really, of really good, smart episodes. But a really strange thing happened. When our show debuted, it's right when video iPods came out. And Apple, for some reason, put the Office Christmas episode on the video iPods. When the they... BBC one? The no, your, no, yeah, 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 yeah. BBC one. They made 13 episodes. It's not even a TV show. The uh, you hear that, your base? So all of a sudden, you had all these teenagers getting video iPods for Christmas with off Office episodes on it, and then we noticed all of a sudden the Office was at the top of the best-selling downloaded episodes on the Apple That's TV. And even though our ratings weren't any good, we saw that we were getting all this traction, especially with the young people. We thought we were doing a show for people who had worked in offices or knew about offices and uh, could relate to working in an office. But our biggest audience, and still is, are our young people, teenagers, preteens, college students, uh, who've never set foot in an office. Um, and that's when we took off in the second season. That's very, very cool.